23 wins this year. That leads the WTA 14 in a row. That's a career high and making straight set works of Coco Golf right there. What impressed you the most, Chanda? I mean, just the way she's played with just that additional pressure. I mean, this is a completely, you know, unknown, uh, uncharted territory for Iga Sviantec, knowing she's going to be one in the world, kind of having all eyes on her, a bit of a target on her back, and then playing a player who's slightly younger that, you know, she's got even more pressure in terms of expectation. And she just handled it so beautifully. Went out the first six or so games, was a little bit scratchy. She had a lot of break points, but she kind of weathered the storm, Sviantec did, and just allowed her game to open up. And I think a big result for her was the Australia Open um, this year, where those courts were a little bit quick. She wasn't quite as comfortable, but she worked it out, got to the semifinals, and now it just feels like she can do anything on multiple surfaces and making these transitions in a fantastic way. It's been impressive stuff. Andy, between Osaka and Sviantec, who has stood out most in Miami so far to you? I think Sviatek has been been head and shoulders above everyone else. I mean, Osaka's still trying to find her footing. You know, we can't kind of delete the last year uh, of tennis. You're, you know, you're ranking, uh, you know, you are what your ranking says you are, right? And Osaka's not in the top 70 right now. Sviatek's number one in the world. She's playing so well, Steve, that I'm watching her match today, and any point she loses, it's like she's instantly disappointed. And not in an arrogant way. It's just her expectation level is so high. She's not making random errors. And she's making the rest of us players look dumb because she just says, hey, I'm going to be more aggressive. And it's almost like she just spoke it into existence. That's normally a, a, an adjustment that takes time. She's doing it right away and doing it incredibly well. She can join Steffi Groff, Kim Kleister, Victoria Azarenka as the only women to complete the Sunshine Double.